I'm Mercer Jean Cannon and I study a Bachelor of Science Pathways to Teaching. Well, my name is Roy Tasker, I'm a Professor of Chemical Education and I teach first year chemistry. Hi, my name's Tim Murphy, I'm the current PhD student here at the University of Western Sydney and I'm also a part-time research projects officer with the CSIRO. Some of the most important mathematical skills students need are one, to be able to take an equation and to manipulate the variables, uh, to be able to see the relationships between variables, are they linear, non-linear, logarithmic, um, and these are important to be able to make sense of the science, so it, all of a sudden the mathematics means something. Um, prior to my studies at university, I, um, I just was learning maths as a process, so um, I was just learning the steps. I didn't really have any practical applications, so in a way I wasn't confident because I, I wouldn't have been able to apply it to uh, real life situations. I was just uh, learning numbers on a page, so it wasn't. I was okay at it. I used it to break up um, studying essays or writing essays and reports, but um, I wasn't, uh, it wasn't overly enjoyable. <laughs> It's absolutely essential that students have these fundamental mathematical skills before they come to class. And that's because the science comes at you so quickly and we're assuming that you're able to make the mathematical connections. But you just won't catch up, you'll fall behind. So yes, it's really important to have those skills before you start. Uh, the first semester of my studies I, I had to do a maths unit and I, um, I found I had to do maths in fact in all my units the first semester and the maths unit I did was uh, harder than I was expecting and uh, it was a bit tough but um, because of the other units I was doing I actually started to see there was practical application in what I was learning and it started to become uh, uh, more useful and I started to be able to um, use the the uh, processes I'd learnt at school and uh, understand uh, why, why we do what we do in each of those. The mathematical skills I'd learnt previously to my coursework um, have come directly out of my HSC years such as algebra and calculus. Uh, the surprise factor to me though was the amount of mathematics from my early years, uh, years 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 really, um, they've all come in handy from basic uh, mathematics and algebra, uh, basic uh, calculus that I've learnt in high school, um, even some of the basic Turing trigonometry functions that I learned back in primary school um, I use now. I do a lot of crystallography work with uh, my PhD work and with a lot of the uh, equations that I use at CSIRO, they're very, very important. Having just marked a whole lot of exam papers, it's clear that even though students understand some of the science, their mathematical skills are letting them down. For example, their inability to manipulate equations and then having manipulated the equation, calculated the number, not being able to calculate the unit that goes with that number and makes that number meaningful. It's definitely expected that I will have to know mathematics for my current role. Um, from doing my work in my laboratory here at University of Western Sydney or doing work up at CSIRO. Um, I need to know basic things such as how much materials I require, how much is that going to cost. I also need to understand what will happen in my reactions and what will happen in my future reactions um, so I can control them so I don't cause any accidents or accidental mishaps. Um, those are definitely need to be known because as soon as we can work those out theoretically we can stop, restructure our experiments so we know that we'll be doing it the safest way possible. The most successful students in science are those who are able to set out their calculations and express themselves clearly um, and logically so that other people can follow their thinking. It's absolutely essential to be able to do that. Attention to detail is crucial. You can't do science without maths, they go hand in hand. So. Um, when my maths improved, I started to realise my report writing was improving. So it wasn't just the maths that was improving, it was transcending down to all the different activities you need to do that relate to science. So whether it's report writing on a project you've done, or uh, starting new research, or even um, uh, transferring the information of your research onto, onto other people. Um, so um, kind of the propaganda for your projects or what you like. Uh, if you're more confident in your maths, you understand what you're actually um, looking at, what you're actually working on, and you can be more confident in uh, your research and in um, sharing that research with others. I'm about to start a teaching degree, and um, what I hope is uh, in the future when I am a science teacher that uh, I can give the kids a, a hope when they're learning it. Like I remember when I'm in the classroom sitting there going, when on earth am I going to use this? And uh, here I am sitting in the classroom again at university going, oh, 
I'm eating my words, I'm using it and I'm actually using it in a useful way. So I hope that uh, as a teacher I can give the kids uh, uh, examples and, and, and uh, give them a bit of a visual idea of, of what they're doing so maybe their learning uh, in maths might be improved and maybe their love for maths might uh, uh, be improved. I mean maths isn't something to be scared of, uh, you just have to embrace it and give it a shot and I really hope the kids that I teach see that, that they, they give it a shot and they see just how useful it is in real life.